Oh, that was so good, Davey. Yeah. And, I mean, it's interesting to me to think about how her life, at, like we were saying before, just marked by yeah. really being at the center of these, uh, yeah. you know, crazy tragedies. Right. And simultaneously how God met her there. And, yeah. I, you know, I feel like that story is a microcosm of all of the stories that God right. t- is writing in the midst of tragedy. It's right. pretty incredible right. to think about. Well, a couple of things I thought about when I was having that conversation with her, Aubrey, is, you know, you you and I hear a lot of stories of churches, yeah, church plants that around that time saw a massive influx of people. Yeah, right? that's right. I can trace back some of the larger, more influential churches that have been, you know, in our in Christendom over the past 15, 20 years that saw a huge part of their growth during mm. 9-11, right? Mm. The fall of 2001, they'll point back like it was just right because people were so interested. They, they, they interested might even be such a shallow term for that, but there were all of these existential questions Yes, that in times of abundance, in times of blessing, in times of peace, we often don't ask those questions. It's in times of trouble, in times of trauma, sorrow, that we begin asking these ex- existential questions. Like, you know, the big three questions that everybody's trying to find answers for are, where did I come from? Why am I here? And where am I going? And yeah. so people begin to look to faith communities to provide those answers. And so the, this national tragedy, 2001, became, God used it for a huge, huge catalyst of evangelism. Yeah. And I, I think that's important for people for Christians to recognize too that, um, you know, we don't want to say like God caused this so that evangelism could happen. That's not true. That's not good theology. This was evil at work. And yet what we can see in it is that because God has authority over evil, sovereignty over evil, he can take even the most horrific act and bring salvation, redemption, and transformation through his people, the church. That's right. And so this is why I think in in COVID or in small, mm-hmm. you know, small tragedies like, hey, there's a loss of a child in your town. Yeah. Yeah. There's a, you know, a, Maybe a, a, shoot. a school shooting or yeah. mass shooting or something. Yep, yeah, exactly. it, it's so imperative for the church to step up and show up yeah. with practical needs, emotional support, whatever we right. can do, because God's going to like draw people to himself in those That's seasons. Right. That's right. It, you know, I read something right when COVID hit, I was reading kind of a, and I don't remember the name of the book, but it was like a a history, like a narrative about different major tragedies that had happened throughout history and how the, the motif through the whole thing was the church rushes in. Wow. Right. And, and we've got to remember that as a body of believers, right? Our generation, Aubrey, you and I, we like, we, those of us who are listening to this, we are the church. Yeah, that's right. It is our responsibility in these major tragedies and the, the micro tragedies in our communities mm. to rush in. Yeah. And we're, we never know just how God's going to use that to turn people's hearts toward him. You know, I, I, I share this, maybe I've shared it on the podcast before, but it's almost like when a fight breaks out in school, you know, growing up, you see like all of a sudden this fight breaks out in the hallway and everybody's like, <gasps> what's going they on? Snap, yeah. Oh, right. And every, uh-huh. all attention is on this fight. Uh-huh. And so that that's what happens when tragedy happens in your yeah. life. When tragedy happens in your town, your community, your city, mm-hmm. all attention is on that. What an unbelievable platform that we have as believers to show people how Jesus would step into those situations. Mm, what a model yeah, that we have right. for the gospel. And so I think I'll, I just want to use this to challenge us to be aware of that eyes up about yeah, that. Good. What are some of the micro tragedies, quote unquote, the injustices that are happening in your community that you, you can rush in and you can yeah. just be the hands and feet of Jesus in that situation. That's so good. I heard Gary Haugen, uh, somebody was quoting him recently and uh, Gary Haugen said he, he's the uh, president founder of IJM International Justice Mission. Yeah, and yeah. He said he stopped asking, where is God? And instead he began asking, where are God's people? Oof. And I think that's that's ultimately what we're saying. Like, if, yep. if yeah, if people are hurting big scale, small scale in your community, wow. like answer that call. Where are God's people? Like be the be the one who shows yeah, up and just could, watch as God does like, what he does. You can almost take that question and go, where is the brokenness? Right? Mm. Where is the mess? Where is the hurt? Where mm. is the 
Because that's where God's going to be. Yeah, yeah. Isn't that where Jesus was? That's where he spent his ministry? So it's like, hey, you're looking for Jesus. Go to, let's go there. Go to where the let's brokenness is. Yeah. Yeah. That's, oh, oh so good. Good for us to remember for sure. Wow. Wow. Um, we are so excited right now because Davey, the community platform and community plus is right. up at nothing is yeah. com slash community. And yeah. you want to tell the people everything we, that I they would. can access? Cause this is very exciting. Yeah. We launched community plus earlier this year, mm-hmm. but we were having trouble trying to figure out how to help people navigate through yeah. all of the library of content that we have back there. I have so much content over the years we've been able to collect. And so it became frustrating, I think for us. So our team has been working really hard to make this a lot more seamless for you. One of the ways we're doing that is curated pathways. You've probably heard already us talk about curated right. pathways, but you can go to nothingiswasted.com slash pathways and you can sign up to get our starter pathways for free, our first five pathways that we've released. We're releasing another one this month and every month. But what's so cool about Community Plus is we have all kinds of content there to help you as you're navigating your pain to purpose journey. And so, you know, bonus episodes of, of podcast guests that we do deep, some deep dive conversations yeah. with that, that are not on the podcast feed, right? Um, we've got many courses of some different topics, like how to read your Bible, how to hear God's voice. We've got, um, live coaching replays. We've got masterclass replays, these things that we've been offering every single month. Mm -hmm. We've got live event replays, anything and everything that we've done as a ministry is there in that library of content. You can access that at $20 a month or $200 a year. And I'll, and I'll say this. This, yes, you get great content by doing this, but this is also a way for you to support the ministry because right. as, as you guys help us and support the ministry financially, it allows us to make more strategic decisions in terms of growth, yeah. in terms of being able to staff this well, in terms of being able, being able to do, provide more content. Uh, better community and better coaching as you're navigating your, your unique Valley. So we're just really excited about this. We want you to check it out. Nothing is wasted.com slash community plus, and you can take a look at how you could partner with us as we're partnering with you as we're all partnering with God to take back our stories. So excited about that. I am like, like thrilled how streamlined it is. We also want to thank sleeping at last for providing all of the music for the nothing is wasted podcast. You can find his music wherever it is. You stream your music. We also would love to engage with you on social media. We are in it's on Instagram at nothing is wasted ministries at Davey Blackburn and at Bob Samp. Hey friend, if you liked this episode, be sure to like and subscribe so that you can stay in the loop every time Nothing Is Wasted releases a piece of content here on this YouTube channel.